and the English department and the Jackson College film series, Mike Mara. Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing, Bart? I'm good. How are you? Can't complain. Well, tonight's your night. It's uh, the next film after uh, a break for uh, spring break last right. week. I have to confess, I've never heard of The Iron Giant. No? No. Never, never saw that one? No. Back in 1999. I missed that. I yeah. was busy in 1999. It, uh, it is a, uh, it's one of the rare uh, animated pictures that um, actually got some, you know, some box office and attention that wasn't a Disney movie. Uh, right for years disney has had you know a stranglehold on you know the uh you know animated films mm -hmm. right but back in 1999 uh brad bird showed up a lot of people know brad bird he directed um the incredibles mm -hmm. the pixar superhero movie yeah. right um and he also directed um the fourth uh, mission impossible picture all oh, right wow. um but before 1999 he was hired uh by disney uh, he didn't like the way they ran things, uh, went off, tried to do his own thing, um, worked on The Simpsons for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the reason he worked on The Simpsons was because he had an eye for filmmaking, but he was really interested in animation. But you can't do the sorts of things that you can do live action in an animated movie, mm -hmm. right? right? But he wanted to. And so uh, when he was working with The Simpsons, they had the budget to make that show seem more cinematic, for lack mm -hmm. of a better word, right? And uh, he got a lot of uh, prestige and honors for that sort of thing. And uh, Warner Brothers, after the, um, after the success of The Lion King over at Disney, mm -hmm. Warner Brothers wanted a piece of the pie. And so they, uh, they put a bunch of resources into their own animation division, had this idea about a, a giant robot. Uh, it's based on a book. Uh, called, I think, The Iron Giant, or The, the Iron Man is the name of the mm -hmm. book. And it's, it's a story about the, a child who uh, befriends this giant robot from space, right? And uh, Brad Bird liked the idea. He, uh, he uh, rewrote it a little bit, and then he made this really, really wonderful animated picture um, uh, in, in 1999. And it's, it's really great. Well, we have a clip. Let's take a look. Here's a preview of The Iron Giant, and it's JC Film at Michigan Theater. attack and prepare to retreat to the fallback position. No! No! Stop! My son is out there! No, wait! It's me! Bogart, remember? It's bad to kill. Guns kill. And you don't have to be a gun. You are what you choose to be. You choose. Choose. Bogart. Ooh, all right, so awesome. that's familiar. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the robot is actually voiced by Vin Diesel. No kidding. Yeah, which is great. And uh, as you can see in the clip that we just watched, uh, the, the robot seems violent, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Brad Bird actually, when he was making the film and he was rewriting the screenplay, he, uh, the whole concept was, what if a gun has a soul? Mm. Right, and then the child befriends the robot, and of course, it takes place during the 1960s, so there's all sorts of Cold War paranoia, and the government wants the robot to fight the Russians, but of course, the boy just wants the robot to be his friend, and it's really terrific. And here we are today, where robots <laughs> do have a mind. <laughs> well, last night, Mike, the Academy Awards, and the movie that uh, swept, well, actually, I'd say two, two movies, All Quiet on the Western Front, yep. which I had never heard of. I n knew of the... Original, sure, right. decades ago, but this was a German uh, right. film. Yep. And then the other, uh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, yep. which won Best Picture. Sure, won it all. Uh, won it all. Were, yeah. you, were you surprised? I was not surprised, but only because the Academy Awards are always the last award show mm -hmm. uh, in the award season, and yeah. it swept all the other award shows. And so it was, it was pretty, a pretty foregone conclusion. 
But I'm not uh, not too sad about it. It was a great great movie. I, I haven't seen it. I've, the only two uh, nominated films I saw were uh, Mission, uh, uh, Top Gun, and Elvis. Sure. And I thought they were both great movies, so yep. I was disappointed they didn't win much. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it, it did. Uh, Top Gun did win sound design, which mm. it which it lost back in the '80s. So <laughs> it was a redemption arc for. Tom Cruise and fighter planes. And Austin Butler, I thought, was awesome as Elvis, but apparently uh, Hollywood uh, doesn't like the fact that he's he's uh, he's adopted the character sure. in real life. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it, there's push and pull, right? <laughs> you you never know how how hard to go for it, you know. It was a uh, history making. Uh, Oscars in yes. that uh, Asians received awards right. uh, for the first time in some categories. Yeah, it was great. I mean, we had we had we had uh, Asian recipients in d the directors themselves. One of them, um, we had uh, best actress, best supporting actor. Right. Um, it was a, a huge, huge success, uh, and it definitely, you know, minority groups just don't get these awards. Mm -hmm. Right. It's been a, it's been a white man's game for literally yeah. decades, and it's nice to see some diversity finally. You know. Coming up to the top. Yeah, keyword man. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the um, big names: uh, James Cameron. He wasn't there. Tom right. Cruise. He wasn't mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought a sentimental fate of it might have been John Williams, nominated yep. uh, again for his score, but mm -hmm. he lost. Right. He's won plenty. Yes. The most nominated uh, <laughs> Academy Award person in history, by the way. Yeah. So I've not seen everything everywhere all at once, but we have a clip. Terrific. So let's take a look. Let's do it. Yes. This is Wang. This is Wang. Mrs. Wang, are you with us? I am paying attention. Now you may only see a pile of receipts, but I see a story. I can see where this story is going. It does not look good. What's happening? Evelyn, I'm not your husband. I'm another version of him from another universe. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today, a whole time to help you. Across the multiverse, I've seen thousands of Evelyns. You can access all of their memories, their emotions, even their skills. There's a great evil spreading throughout the many verses. And you may be your only chance of stopping it. Don't make me fight you. I am really good. I don't believe you. Mike, I don't know if I could follow that movie. I believe in you, Bart, <laughs> and you have a chance to see it. We're, we're showing it. It's in, no. the, it's in the spring film series. Yeah, in two, wow. two, three weeks. Uh, tonight's Iron Giant. Week after that is going to be The Social Network, which is the Facebook picture. Week after that is Mad Max Fury Road, which is a personal favorite. And then the week after that, we're going to be showing everything everywhere all at once, which is great because... Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in the picture. She won Best Supporting Actress last night. And uh, she showed up earlier in the spring film series when we watched uh, Halloween. Wow. So there you go. Everyone can show up and, and watch it. It's, uh, it's a long one. It's about two and a half hours long. But uh, I, think we'd all, I think you'll all enjoy it. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, the first Activia spokesmodel to win an <laughs> Academy Award. <laughs> yeah. yeah the there were some people, people that I thought, uh, the, I was surprised they had not won an Academy Award. Uh, even in the in memoriam segment, <clears throat> they they noted who had won an Academy Award. Right, yeah, um, some of the greats never yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. This hap this happens all the time, right? Yeah. It's um it's probably why. And I'm not saying that her performance and everything ever all at once wasn't fantastic, but this is probably right. one of the reasons why Jamie Lee Curtis won the award. Because when you've been in in Hollywood for so long and you haven't won an award, um. <laughs> You, 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 you put in a really good performance later in your career and, and you, you snag a statue. Jamie Lee Curtis did it this year. A few years ago it was um, 
Uh, Jeff Bridges did about the same thing, and mm -hmm. even John Wayne, back when he was in True Grit. True Grit was not the best performance of that <laughs> no. year, but you know, you gotta give John Wayne a statue, so yeah. why not? Well, I think Judd Hirsch was one of those people, uh, yep. it's 88 or something, he's uh, nominated, and, um, but you look at the, uh, the competition in all those categories, and particularly with the best actor uh, categories, they're such different performances right. that, huh, you know, I don't know, I guess, you know, they pick their favorite, but. Right. Yeah, but. It's, it's hard to evaluate, you know, it's, it's um, the, uh, the, the nominations themselves uh, come from whatever category it is. So the actors nominate the actors, screenwriters nominate screenwriters, but then everyone votes on the finalists. So it does become a little bit of a popularity contest. You know, they, they pull out ads in variety and things like this. Yeah. And so, so it is, you know, is it a definitive list of the actual best actors in films of the year? Eh, not quite, but mm. it's, eh, it's, a good, it's a good measuring stick. All right. Well, tonight, if you want to see The Iron Giant and hang around for Mike's class, you're welcome to do that. <laughs> And thanks for coming in today. Always a pleasure, Bart. All right, our film expert from the English department at JC, Mike Mara.